I've come to this conference uh, for the last 14 years, uh, having the great privilege and pleasure to award the Rummelhart Prize in Cognitive Science, which um, uh, we've created to honor my thesis advisor, David Rummelhart, who was one of the pioneering figures of cognitive science. So we had given this prize away for nine years. Uh, you know, just here's a check and here's a plaque, right? But someone said, it's not a real prize, it has a medal, you know, that you hang on your neck, right? And so we said, we should make a medal. So David Waller is the sculptor, he's a London-based sculptor, who makes the medal. And one of my students was involved in um, research in London University. She was in contact with someone from the Rommel Hart Selection Committee, and um, through conversation, and she asked me to consider producing the medal, and I agreed. So this London-based sculptor worked with me in the Gaffer in Indiana to make the medals. Is that amazing? A picture of Roma Hart um, was based on photographs which had come from Bob's colleagues and David Roma Hart's colleagues, um, sort of trawled from their archives. And um, mine was a composite picture based on what we considered David's most enigmatic appearance with him scratching or, or pulling his beard in, in contemplation, in thought. And um, on the medal, it illustrates David's contemplative pose and with his hand on his beard. On the reverse side, the foundation name, the name of the winner and the year. The symbol is the Psi symbol. And there's two faces, which is a reference to communication. And then this is like speech or lines of information. And basically, it's a idealized form of, of the science from the artist's idea. My involvement with the medal was, was the drawings, the design. Um, the, the first stage is a wax edition, um, which is taken to a, a foundry company and from the wax they made a mold and the mold produces another copy in wax in a special casting wax which is then surrounded by a ceramics casing, a shell the, the wax is melted out and the, the melted uh, wax is removed it's replaced by molten bronze um, it's a very rough copy at that stage after that it's, um, it's removed, cleaned and polished and then coloured with heat and chemicals. And then the engraving is, is performed by a very old antiquated company of engravers in Clerkenwell in East London. And they engrave the names of the, uh, the winners. And in each of those stages, because it's done by hand and not by machine, and it's done by artisans, in each of those stages, there can be small modifications in maybe the shape of the hair, the the rim of the glasses, perhaps the edge of the disc. And we've decided that's not imp it's not important to have a, 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 a repeated, um, perfect copy. And for me, I, that represents the, the whole of humankind, in that there's no perfect copies yet. First toast is to David Rommelhart. Second toast to Linda Smith, the 13th recipient of the Rommel Heart Prize.